in the video I have for you today. Actually, if you're seeing this now, I filmed this a couple days ago. I um, had to prepare some videos because I need to go out of town. In this video, the thermostat was blank and I knew the air handler was in the attic so I immediately had my suspicions that a float switch was open. Let's see what we find. I thought that before I go <clears throat> back upstairs, I'd look out here. It looks like thermostat wire may be in a seal type. There's my drain over there, my pea trap. I do not see where anything has obviously shorted. <clears throat> I tell you that attic insulation gets to me. I'm gonna have to do something with that. Let's go up top. Outside that looked kind of rough when I have a blown fuse I normally suspect the contactor I mean that is a very normal thing for a contactor to blow a fuse I just saw a spark blows right away so what we're going to do is first I'm going to disconnect my my red we're going to jump to each one of these one at a time and see if we can't help isolate which one it is. All right. with, with red disconnected, reset it. And watch just a second. I just heard the condenser come on. So I don't suspect the contactor. Jump to orange. Jump to green. I'm going to jump to white.
Okay, none of those are blowing because I'm going to go disconnect the thermostat real quick, pull it off the wall, and we're going to jump the rig and see what happens. That was a Pro 5000. I'm going to jump to this float switch real quick. Yep, it blew. So I need to seems like I got a direct short the ground somewhere. I might need to disconnect red outside and see if that does it. Try that one more time. I have, I have disconnected red outside. see what happens hmm. all right now I've got no short thermostat was already back on the wall all right let's take our tools and head outside I'm doing a little tree trimming. Well, I guess I'm glad that's not occupied. Alright, so I disconnected I disconnected my red wire here and my short went away. At this point you need to think about what may have 24 volts at all times. board is but what does it send 24 volts to at all times I'm 
testing for a direct short to ground. And I've got a direct short to ground. And this um defrost thermostat may get 24 volts all the time. And I know the board does. Let me try something. second from the top. Direct short to ground. I'm fixing to test something else. I'm going to disconnect this defrost thermostat and test that again. I'm hooking to the red that goes to the board. Now I don't have a direct short. All right, so I know it's this defrost thermostat. We probably have a wire that's rubbed on the inside here. seeing anything obvious right now. Forgive me if y'all don't see everything. I don't always recognize when the camera's not pointed at what I'm doing. I'm just not seeing. Oh. I'm not seeing anywhere where those wires are. Rubbed through somewhere. shorted in here there's just no place on it where wires have shorted together I mean rubbed and shorted let me check one more time no short all right I may have a generic defrost thermostat that I can hook to this. See that? I'm holding this against the copper that touches that touches the 
the copper tubing and there's my short right there I do happen to have one default thermostat very similar let's get this hooked up I'm gonna run the wires through and we'll connect to this and this one's gonna be done I got that installed on the same pipe I got my wires run through we're fixing to connect this back up Now that I got all that squared away, let's test again. I've got it plugged up. Nothing. All right, so I just, I want to make this look better. And it looks like Looks like we can put this like right there. All right, I got that pretty much tidied up, cleaned up a little bit. better than it was All right so I'm not blowing a fuse and then put put that in the drain line just for good measure thermostats on we are lit up all right I hope I showed enough of that one to give you an idea of how I troubleshoot low voltage problems and maybe that was helpful I know I kind of moved through it a little fast but I do try to explain if this video was helpful and you like these kinds of videos like and subscribe. I'll catch y'all in the next one.